Hey, what's up? Just felt like talking. Uh, I saw the Chappelle thing on Netflix. And I always talk about, I don't watch a lot of stand up, but I woke up this morning and my timeline was overrun with Chappelle stuff. Chappelle, Chappelle, Chappelle. I said, what happened? And I go to YouTube and I watch this, it's almost 30 minutes of Chappelle in Ohio. Uh, looks like a freaking park. And he's just talking, but he's just dropping jewels. And that I, I, I've talked about this about stand-ups, man. Sometimes it's about the laughs, but sometimes the silence is better because when a crowd is silent, they're listening. They're processing the information you're giving them. And Chappelle was dropping nuggets. No, I, I watched all 30 minutes and felt like two. And I felt his pain. I I felt his passion. Uh, that he's he was able to relate things that I've been tr I've been trying myself to put into words, but then Dave did, and I went shit. That's what I was trying to say to some people that I've been talking to about uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and George Floyd and everything that's happened over the last few weeks. Uh, one thing that struck me the most is when he talked about. The, the police officer that got surrounded in California, up in Big Bear, the black police officer that got shot. He said 400 police officers surrounded this guy and swooped in on him and made him switch cheese, just shot him up. Why? Because he killed cops, he killed other cops, he killed one of their own. He said that's what black people has, have been feeling when they saw George Floyd passing away. They saw one of their own. I was like, fuck. That was so perfect. That was perfect. Uh, he said, Lyle, just, just watch it. Uh, it's it's good for discussion. It shows why Dave's one of the best to do it. Uh, wasn't even about the ha ha he he quick. He even said, like, I got some pussy jokes, but this is getting a little deep. Uh, but it was just good. It was so good. And I felt like that, more than anything, explained the frustration. Is there food on my shirt? Sorry. I said a protein bar. Uh, I think that was a crumb. And, <laughs> that was a commercial break for for <laughs> for crumbs on t-shirts eating protein bars. But I feel like that was that was the perfect analogy. The reason cops swoop in when people kill cops is because they kill one of their own. It's the same way. It was just enough. They'd had enough. Black people had, had enough, and boom, it just was a the powder keg. And it's like he said, with Candace Owens bringing up George Floyd's arrest record. Which, by the way, 90% was drug-related offenses. And we, we're in a country now where we're like, you know, drug addicts hurt themselves. It's an addiction. It's hard to, it's hard to beat when you're addicted. I got, I got a family full of drug addicts, I know. Uh, so all that meant nothing to me. Uh, like you said, I didn't care if you kick can of Owens in their state pussy. <laughs> that's, a, that's the thing. It's a good special when you start repeating the jokes immediately. And I've talked to probably eight people today and we've talked about that 30 minute special on YouTube and we're sitting there quoting things and we're, we're discussing it and we're passionate about it. So it was just good. And then I was also, it also, when I was watching it reminded me of like the rebel flag uh, thing, NASCAR finally got rid of the rebel flag and people were upset about it. And I'm sitting there going, why are you upset about that? Like, it's not taking anybody's freedom and rights away. And the rebel flag, when you see it, only two things come to mind. Slavery and the Dukes of Hazard. That's it. Slavery and Dukes of Hazard is the first thing that comes to your mind. You don't, you don't think about the Southern heritage. You don't think about it's a cool color scheme. You think about slavery and the Dukes of Hazard. It's the only two things you think about uh, when that flag. So I'm glad NASCAR took the rebel flag out. It's about time Mississippi needs to do it too, the whole state. Uh, it, I'd always, I always felt weird watching Mississippi rebels, you know, just wave that flag. And maybe it's time they change their nickname too. Uh, maybe like the Mississippi banners, like David Banner. A lot, a lot of cool stuff would come out of Mississippi. Come on, Mississippi fishing. How about Mississippi fishermen? A lot of good fishing in Mississippi. How about Mississippi grits? A lot of good, I know a lot of places got good grits in Mississippi. How about that? Uh, Mississippi fields. There's a lot of fields in Mississippi. I don't know. Uh, anyways, 
Yeah, so I'm glad I got rid of the rubble flag. That was stupid. And I hope Mississippi needs to just get rid of it completely. That was so stupid. And then now people are upset we're taking down like old Confederate statues. Like, it's part of our history. Our history sucks. Let's be honest. We've come a long way. We There were some, a lot of good things, but a lot of our history sucks. Stop acting like our history was so awesome. You know, I know, we're, I know 90% of people are so glad to be here right now. And we're a country and we're free, but that, stop acting like we're the end all. There's a lot of good countries out there. Sweden's cool, you know? Netherlands is cool. There's a lot of cool countries out there. I, I think they're kind of, I was gonna say Australia, but I think that's a continent. Anyways, we're not the only cool country. Everybody has a dark, everybody has <clears throat> their own dirty laundry they gotta do, but stop acting like we're the only one. Canada's a cool country, you know? A lot of cool countries out there. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad we're getting rid of all these, <clears throat> you know, racist statues and racist flags. Yeah, get rid of them. Put some other shit up. I don't know, put, why don't you start putting comedians up? How about that? Put people that like didn't offend anybody their whole life, just right across the board. Like, uh, I don't know, Bradley Cooper or Ellen. Put shit like that up. They're both seem like cool people. They ain't bother nobody, really. Uh, all right, or put like a plumber or just something like that. Some regular ass Joe, hard working nine to five worker. Replace those statues with nine to five workers. How about that? A steel worker or, you know, a gardener or some, just some guy cutting his lawn, you know? Or how about, how about a stay at home mom with two babies? Who doesn't like that? Just have a stay at home mom with two babies. Put a statue of that because that's a job in itself. Or somebody changing a diaper. How about that? I'm cool. I'm cool. We've had all these dudes. I'm cool with all women. Replace all the statue with women statues. Do that. Just all different types of women. Teachers, scientists, um, cafeteria workers. They don't get enough love. How about some statues of cafeteria workers? All right. Um, I just felt like talking today because I'm I'm back to work. So, all right. I'll talk again whenever I feel like it. Good job, Dave. That was well needed, well timed, and thank you. And I think. My agent called me last week and said, are you in Ohio? And I said, no. He goes, okay. Then I talked to him two days ago and he said, yeah, Dave had a show in Ohio and he asked uh, if you were in town. And I went, fuck, I could have been on that show. I think that was the show. I don't know. I haven't talked to Dave, but I think that was the show that they called and asked if I was in Ohio. But it, it was like on three hour notice. I was like, dude, why didn't you tell me? I would have flew in. They was like, it was like three hour notice. I go, oh. Yeah, couldn't have made it that fast. So, it got, and then when I watched I go, I bet you that was the show in the middle of the park in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, only Dave can do that shit. There's only so many comedians that can do that. You know, I'm gonna go to the park and film something and people show up. That's nuts. That's crazy. It's awesome though. All right, see you guys tomorrow. No, oh, tomorrow, I'm, I'm still in lockdown. See you guys whenever I wanna talk. I just talk when I wanna talk. All right, later.